Hey guys, welcome back to the vegan video series. Today, I'm taking my first step in gutting my interior because one of the things on my list is rust. And I noticed that my passenger side floor was swollen a little bit. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to take out everything and see what's underneath because this car did come from New Hampshire and then I bought it from West Virginia, both of which get a lot of snow. So I know there's rust, but I just want to see it for myself and hopefully take care of it before it gets worse. I have the front end taken off because I was taking care of a leak in my washer fluid reservoir. Um, I took care of that with some flex tape. And also, I am going to be replacing the manual transmission fluid um, my floor jack broke a couple months ago, so I haven't been able to lift up my car. Um, I have the ramps, but I just like using the jacks better. So that's coming in a few days, so I'm gonna be doing that. So stay tuned for that video. But today, we're going to be taking out the rear seats and the passenger seat and the carpet in the trunk. So let's get started. It should be very fun. So to take off the bottom cushion, you first lift up the seat and you should see a pin and the black clip that holds the pin in place. So first you remove that small clip and the pin should come right out. Same thing on the other side. And the next step is to fold down the rear seats and remove these nuts. There's six of them in total. All right, so after moving those nuts, you have one, two and three nuts more. That's for the seatbelt assembly. For the driver's side rear seat, there's one more bolt here to loosen. So right away, there's a hole right there. That's the floor. So that's rust spot number one. In other places, it seems fine. Um, but I think the issue is... I got a bad oh, no. feeling about this. 